So when we're when I'm broadcasting, if I need to tell you something, I go to talk back. <laughs> Say for instance, you know, if there's a breakdown in the game, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit the talk back and, and try to get you to, to get on to a. Uh, to get you, you know, say if there's something going down on the field that I want to exemplify, I might just say, hey, can you hit me with a you know? Okay, so real quick, Brock, um, right now, it's top four. Okay, so, um, uh, yeah, I guess I'm just going to break it down. Maybe. They've got a pro on it to record the um, You know, it's going to be a blood match. Blood match. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go Let me know when you guys uh, want to set me in there. How you doing? This is Oliver Lang. I'm joined up here by Rocky Cagnoni. We're at the PA here in beautiful Lakeland, Florida. We're about to watch the first point on this Sunday game here. We got Cal State, uh, Long Beach, the 49ers versus UConn. All right, Rocky. Excellent, excellent U breakout. Oh, UConn loses a guy going out to left two guys. As well as uh, Long Beach does, you know. Both these teams uh, have been playing very well all weekend long here. Uh, you know, again, this is Sunday, so this is really where it matters. Um, we got Chris Treegarth in here in the Snake, and he is by far one of the Long Beach's uh, most dominant players. He's been doing a great job all all weekend long, uh, playing very sturdy. Yesterday there was a little bit of a of a of a of a mix up, or you know, there was a, they were playing uh, they were playing um, Penn State. Penn I think, State yesterday, it? yeah, and uh, Chris Treegarth in. Uh, some for some reason or another believed that he could get out of his pit, go all the way to the uh, the, the, the the coaching side over there and start coaching his teammates. Uh, and it was, it's kind of wild because uh, he, he, I don't know what he thought he could, why he thought he could do that, but he was assessed the uh, the minor penalty. But it came down to a very close game yesterday against Penn. I believe it was a one point game, uh, and they're here today. Yeah, and then, and they take that first point. Cal State does, and he he. From what I hear, he got lucky with just a minor yesterday. It, I mean, from what I hear, it it could have been a major easily. Right. Well, I've never really heard of anybody doing that before. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I guess they didn't really know how to assess that. Um, you know, it was, a, it was a new one. Uh, so you know, that first game, Rocky. How's uh, how's everything been treating you? This weekend's been a long weekend. You know, we've been up here. Uh, what have you been doing? Uh, dude, I've just been living it over in Treasure Island. You know, okay. and uh, living it up. I mean. We're in beautiful Lakeland, Florida. This is the home of monster trucks, <laughs> rednecks, and guns. As well as the NCPA College Championship. Absolutely. You know? We did this last year together. Yep. Rocky's a good friend of mine. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to have him up here. It's a pleasure and, to be uh, here. Well, good, good, good. Well, you know, I'm excited for today. Uh, today, guys, for you guys viewing at home, uh, we've, got, uh, we've got Cal State uh, playing UConn right now. UConn, for you guys that don't know, they won this uh, a couple years back. They're kind of one of the, the more highly sponsored uh, supported teams from their school I, I would say yeah um, uh, Cal State last year they came up kind of out of nowhere uh, I believe they took second place last yeah. year yep, yep. and they were kind of the underdog this year it kind of looks like they are uh, the overdog you know, you know both of these teams have been in here so they they know what to expect right and they know what they got to dish out to you know get on top well, you know, uh, Long Beach has uh, has does have an actual pro player on the team, Corey Bernstein. Uh, he's played on a, a couple uh, uh, top pro level teams. He's played on Bob Long's Blast. Uh, he's played on uh, Aftermath. Uh, I actually looked into trying to get him onto the Ironman a couple years back, but um, for some reason he never uh, took the bait. You know, <laughs> he's into the college scene. Yeah, that's good though. That's good. Education is great. So here we go. It's going to be the second point here on Sunday in beautiful Lakeland. Uh, you're watching Long Beach right there on the screen with this breakout here. Let's see what they got. Big move, big move uh, to that door right in front of the snake. It looks like he might have got hit. The referee's going in there to check him. Um, he's all right. That's going to make it five on five right now. Uh, 
You're going to watch uh, UConn bounce all the way out to that corner right there. You know, Rocky, all weekend long, we have been kind of hating on that corner. The reason for is that, and, and there you go, you see him walking off. Yep. Uh, that corner is is this corner bunker, but it's not really a corner bunker that can stop the snake, you know? That and most of the time, when, you, you know, when you're know when you in that snake and you don't have a corner, you're going to go all the way down to go their all side. All the way down, diddle, so, diddle, straight down it. Right, so it really makes no sense to us why uh, people are, have been going to uh, to that corner, you know? And you see, prime example, you see one of the guys in the Yukon delaying out there and kind of getting shot filling out there, really, but what, what does it do any good? Yeah, I, th I, th I think that's one of the fundamentals that you just, it, it's like an instinct. Spread yeah, it. You just go think all the way to the corner. Yeah, you yeah, know? very and, true. And so I think the, most of these guys think they got to make it to that corner, but it's really, like you said, it, 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 it doesn't help you at all. And here you go, Chris Treegarth is just going to work, you know. This is how the snake should be played, all the way down in there and in their territory. He doesn't know there's a guy in the back center, but the back center guy was reloading right there. Yeah, just bad, bad timing. Bad, bad timing for the back center guy. The back center guy could have picked up a kill there. But, you know, that makes it 2-0 now. Um, Cal State. Cal State. Up you know, Cal State. You UConn, I mean, Cal State. It's, it's, I saw I saw UConn getting very amped. Did you see uh, UConn right before this game? Yeah, I mean, they're trying to pump it up. But I, I think they just need to go back and just uh, just redraw it. I, they're letting Cal State just bring it to them. Well, you know, I mean, if you were uh, if you were UConn's coach right now, uh, I mean, it's still early in the game. You know, we got seven minutes, thirty seconds Plenty left in this left. in this half, just yep. in this half. Remember, for you guys watching at home, there's two halves of ten minutes. Uh, ongoing point structure. The object of it is to obviously eliminate your opponents. There's a center flag. Hang it. Uh, make sure you're clean. Get that point, and um, you know at the end of the day or end of the game, whoever's got the most points wins the match and, and goes on to play for first place in the NCPA uh, college championship. You know, so it's it's a pretty it's a pretty highly notable thing out here that we're competing for today. Absolutely, and, and you know, and you got to realize that these colleges are pretty much supporting these players. Yeah, pretty much 100 percent, and I and. It's it's really awesome to, to see the colleges back these guys up. Yeah, and, it, and they're they're actually taking it like it's a real sport, which well, is good, good to see. Yeah, you know they. they need it. Honestly, I was talking to Maddie about this yesterday. I truly feel the success of college, uh, the college format, the college club league. You know, with these highly, um, you know, notable schools like UConn. You know, exactly. Uh, you know, we got Liberty. We, you know, the, like some of these, some of these colleges are uh, major Huge. colleges, and uh, yeah. you know, if, if they support paintball, next thing you know, you know, somebody else might see that. And yeah. if these teams do well and, and have success, um, you know, it can only get bigger and bigger. You know, Absolutely. so I love to see this stuff. This is great. Oh, this is great. This is great for our sport. So here we go. It's going to be point three, uh, seven minutes, thirty seconds left. Right there, you're watching UConn on the breakout. Um, right there for UConn, you're going to see, uh, you're going to see. Uh, Robert Skorpta, right there. He's, uh, he's he's been the one wearing those tight pants. Uh, Old trying school to, JT. Yeah, you remember, you remember those. He's uh, you know he was doing a lot of damage for uh, for UConn yesterday, getting in the snake. Today he has not got in there yet. You know he was he. I watched him yesterday on a, on a broadcast that Laura did. He said that he was the workhorse. Uh, he was the one going to work, and you know I haven't seen anything out of him yet. Uh, you know, Long Beach tries to take the snake off the break. They, they get lose, shot. This is their third player. Uh, Cal yeah, State there's... loses three. UConn is definitely playing it smarter this game. They're working up the middle. Working up the middle. You know, right there you see a big move into that pin. But, you know, there's really nobody alive yet left for uh, for for Cal State. So that you're able to run all over the place and do whatever you want to do, you know. Um, right there you see Tony Costa. He was doing a tremendous job all weekend, Rock. Uh, playing that support role, coming up, cleaning up, sh you know, cleaning up the house. Um, and, you know, it, honestly, I, I would really attest a lot of their success to him this weekend. I, I believe he's, you know, he's one of the uh, seniors on the on the field. And uh, he is, uh, you know, he's, he's leading charge. Uh, and that's what they need. That was a great point for them because they finished that point with five up. They didn't lose a body. Right. And th they needed that to turn it around. Well, world. you know, that makes a big point right there. It's now two to one, Cal State leading. Had Cal State taken that point, making the three zero lead, that's a big deal. I mean, that's a three point spread. That, that's you know? a huge deal. I mean, it, it kind of sucks it out of you if you if you got a big goose egg. Right. You well, know? you know, and, and the other team's got three points. Yes. You know, especially going into the Sunday round. And honestly, like I said before, this you could hear UConn getting it up. You know, having that team camaraderie, that rah rah rah. 
And uh, you need that, you know. I mean, and yeah. they sounded really good, but right now the 49ers have kind of come in and just kind of, you know, put a plug in that hole. Just, just fill it up. But, you know, still, again, it is early in the game, and that's the beauty about this format is it's the better team's going to win. There's a lot of time on this clock. Uh, time's a major Absolutely. important issue. And uh, ultimately, you know, it's going to come down to the, to the last minute of the game. Yep, yep. Absolutely, absolutely. So we'll see what happens right now. UConn, pretty much, if they keep the same game plan going, I mean, that was a beautiful point that they got that last. That was, yeah. I mean, the five up, they, they played methodical. You know what's really important is, is chess, especially if you start to lose two points in a row, you need to get those five guys to your spots alive. Exactly. And that's what they did. They got to their yep. spots alive. Uh, you know, Long Beach did not. And that was all the difference in the game right there, you know? I mean, anytime I'm losing, uh, you know, we're trying too hard. We're, you know, we start to, you know, lose that point spread. I say, guys, listen, get your spots alive. Let's play. So right there on the screen, uh, you're going to watch UConn break out once again. Um, let's see what they do. Again, they're going to that corner of death. Yeah. That was, uh, that's Tony, Tony Costa again, you know, I don't, he likes that for some reason. And, you know, it's, it's uh, like I said, I think it's just one of those basic fundamentals that you're just taught and it's instinct. Yeah, and then there's going to be uh, one body from each team walking off the break, so it's going to be four on four. Actually, I'm sorry, it's going to be three on four now. Uh, Long Beach having four, UConn having three. Big bump over there on that Dorito side right there you see on the screen. Long and Beach makes it into the snake. Oh, oh, is that a major? That is a major right oh, there. No bueno. Oh, well, the, red flag, the red flag went up, but nobody got pulled. Look at this move right here. Oh, wow. What happened there? There was a little bit of a... People don't know what's going on there. Referee no, was that a Simo? You know what it looked like? It looked like there was a red flag on um, on Long Beach. Nobody was there to pull the penalty. At the same time, uh, I believe that was um, that was uh, Robert uh, Stofka jumps into the snake against Chris Trigarthen. Chris Trigarthen just kind of lays into him. He kind of pulls his gun up right there. And, uh, you know, I don't know if he eliminated him or what, but the referee just said, hey, both guys come off the field. Yeah. Sometimes that's the easiest way of exactly. doing things, you know. I and mean, when it's, it's that close, I mean, you, you can only do so much as well. Oh, look at this. And, you know, you know who's in that, that's in that corner over there? That's Corey Bernstein. That's the pro from, uh, from, uh, from Long Beach. And he's playing against Tony Costa. This is a one-on-one right here. This is, a, this right is a, a heavy hitter one-on-one. -on -one. What happened is a two-on-one -on -one with uh, UConn. And... Uh, and uh, the, the UConn player on that side, on the Dorito side, got a little sloppy. And uh, I believe that was Robbie Steller over there. He got a little sloppy, tried to come around. If, you know, th that's the coaching side over there. The coaching side, you got to be careful what you do. You yeah, absolutely. And, and, and Tony's kind of in an awkward spot here for a one-on-one. -on -one. He's, uh, he's in the snake. He's playing that pin. And that's just really not a good spot. No, you, don't, you don't have many options. But you, that was, I think that was smart for him to just bump back there. Get a little bit more options. Yeah, no, I definitely like that bump back. Or the bump forward to go to their side of it. You know, the difference is is this is a big point this is a big point for both teams. It's only two to one Long Beach. One on one. The two heavy hitters on the team, the the, the guys that each team look up to, yep. you know? And, uh, courses. and it, it, Berk, b both guys that if they if they lose it, the, you know their team's gonna have a little bit of a, a less you know morale. Exactly. I mean, if they win it, they get the boost of morale. And see, this is dumb. Oh, oh. you know where is he going right there? I that I'm not sure. That was uh, not the smartest move, right there. Uh, I would I would not say to do that if you guys are watching at home. Uh, don't run back into the open and then try and get to one of those pins. We talked about those pins yesterday. Yeah. I mean, yeah. how do you feel about those pins? <laughs> uh, not the safest bunkers <laughs> on the field. Uh, we were talking about those yesterday with Maddie. For you guys at home, <laughs> these uh, those pins, those pins are not really They really do nothing. They're not really a bunker. They're yeah. more of a, a lane blocker. Yep. You know, there's a lot of different lanes in paintball. Um, for you guys that play or you guys that are just kind of tuning in and not, not really understanding what's going on, you know, this field is, is a basic layout. Every field is different, but at the same time, it's got the same sort of concepts. Um, and here we got a little replay, actually. You're going to see what, uh, what happened right here. It's Chris from Cal State in the snake. Creeps up there. Then, you know, behind him there was a penalty thrown, so I don't know exactly what's going on. Let's see the Simo. See, I think... I uh, that was close to call. I mean, it, it looks like Chris took it on the hopper. He might have did the one hand around the bunker. But, I mean, other than that, 
It was pretty much a Simo. You know, I think Chris might have been shooting him in the legs before because from up here it looked like uh, um, it looked like Robert Stofka kind of just one-handed gooned him and <laughs> might have clipped one off on him, and that happens, you know. Um, but the referees saw it how they saw it, and they, and they pulled both of them. Sometimes when it's so close, it's just easier to do that. Exactly. You know? So now, making it 3-1, to one, uh, Cal State. Under we, four minutes to go. Yeah, under four minutes, about uh, three minutes, 56 seconds. Uh, beautiful paintball weather right now. It's great temperature, uh, especially for out here in Florida. I mean, you live out here. Yeah. So what is it? I mean, how is this? This, this, uh, this blessing, is a right? blessing, Yeah, this is actually nice. It's not humid. We're getting ready to... to Pound out this fourth point. Here we go. You're watching Long Beach break out. Uh, big break to the snake for Long Beach. Getting in there. Getting in there. You know, he's smart right there. I like it when players get in there and, and play the tape and try to work around in the next spot. He does have the opportunity to, to go to the next place. Uh, and then you got Chris Trugarthen right there backing him up. Coming in there with him. You know, and this is... This is good standard textbook paintball right here. You want to be in that snake with your buddy, kind of joysticking him, controlling him, you know? Absolutely. Um, I mean, and, and you got two in there. One's down the tape, one's inside. And look at this now. You see Yukon sliding into the snake with him. So there's two guys in the snake uh, with uh, with uh, with Yukon. Now, I believe it's going to be, uh, I believe it's two on, uh, two on four right now. Two Yukons, four Long Beach. Uh, and you're seeing, right there, you're seeing a shot of uh, Yukon trying to do all he can do. That's, uh, that's Nate. Mm, that is Nate. <laughs> he Nate is, uh, Talbot. Nate Talbot. He is, uh, he's kind of working it. You know, and here comes Chris, Chris Trigarthen trying to do something up the center. Uh, look at this move. Double bunker, maybe. Nope. Chris Trigarthen is just eliminating him. It's the first snake player staying in there. Uh, that's Corey Nagel. Kind of just coming up, cleaning that last guy up, and uh, you know he did a good job. He was in there, not trying to, you know, yeah, not he, trying to do too much. So a lot of people, the misconception is when you get into the snake, you got to do everything, and no. you really don't. Sometimes just hanging out there, yeah, is all you really need to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. you get, you're going to turn everybody on you. Just hang out. Relax. Look at that shot right there. You, you see, uh, one of the cameramen got shot. That's kind of what it looks like to be shot. Have a nice goggle hit on you. Uh, you see the spray, the little little whip, whip paint lines of. Uh, of uh, paint all over, all over your lens right there, huh? Just kind of cruising through. I'll tell you what, Cal State is really looking solid. They they're they're, ta they're taking the snake pretty much every point. Yeah, you know, we said in the beginning of the weekend, this snake is a very valuable uh, bunker to the, uh, you know, to the field. I mean, in any field in general, the snake is, is, is very important for you guys yeah. at home. The snake is this, is this elongated uh, bunker that it just almost runs the whole length of the field. It's the only bunker you can slip into at your 40-yard line and then come all the way up at their 40. And um, it's a very, very, very valuable thing. You need to control it. Yep. You need to make sure they're not in it. And that last game, Cal State had two bodies in it. Yep. You know? uh, right now, UConn has to figure a way to stop them from making that snake move. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're sending the guy to that corner, which we already talked about, which is... You can't really do anything from there. It's pretty much useless. Yeah. And they're letting that snake eye get in every time. The they one, have to figure it out how to stop that the guy. The one thing you can do, Rock, is there's that tall temple that's uh, that's on the field. You can actually get in there if you have enough height. You can stand up tall and shoot down and make sure they never come around snake too. Exactly. Okay? Uh, but, you know, with the with the assist of Chris Trigarthen in there, um, if that guy is doing that, Chris can shoot him. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. Ooh, a nice shot right there. Poor, the poor camera guy took a nice heater right there in the throat. You know, now you know what it feels like down there, huh, Polly? <laughs> he loves it. He loves it. You know, at least you get to go home and tell a good story now. <laughs> <laughs> That's how dedicated those camera guys are. They'll, they'll just take it. That's the beautiful thing about paintball. It's all about the stories. And here we go. We got 4-1 to one Cal State. UConn needs to make something happen here. Yeah, UConn, you know, really putting heavy, heavy guns on the snake just now. They put four guns on the snake. There's two guys back center, guy at the Dorito, and the guy at the Tall Temple. Uh, UConn making that fill out there. Looks like uh, he might have got clipped. Well, once again, they're just taking that corner. And that's uh, Tony Costa again. You know, he is the leader of the team. They, I, I distinctly listened to him and, um, and Robert yesterday you know they're they're kind of high on the horse after their win yesterday uh against the gators but you know they said hey i'm the workhorse i'm the support player i'm gonna do this and they have not been doing it at all this game you know uh and right now it's it's almost an even match you know uh it looks like there's uh uh it, it looks like it might be two on two it's a two on two you know 
Cal State have they they have both Doritos, but UConn is working the snake now. He should just bump down one more, and he, he pretty much has clean shots on everybody. Yeah, you know that's Connor Walsh. He's uh he's been playing a, a kind of center support pl player role, and you know now you see him into the snake. Looks like his loader's down a little bit. He's having a little bit of a, of trouble. You kind of picking up those last kills. UConn <laughs> takes that one. Flexing at him a little bit after he shot that guy. What what what? Right. Um. What was that? Uh, I, I think he said, yeah, I don't think you're clean. Let yeah. Me, let me run that in. Yeah, that was kind of a strange thing. I've never see, seen that before. I'm not a big fan of shooting my team. <laughs> Absolutely not. UConn needed that point. Now it's 4-2. Yeah, UConn definitely didn't need that point. Closing yeah. the gap. Right there, if, if, uh, if Cal State takes that one, you know, they might run away with it. Yeah, you know, I mean, so. we, got, we got about a minute left in this half. Yeah, a minute six seconds left in this half. It's, uh, it's only 4-2. We're going to see a replay right here. Um, the breakdown right here will be, uh, I believe in the snake. You see, uh, you see Connor Walsh coming all the way up into their snake. Uh, you know, coming up. His, his loader's broken. You can, you can see right there. He's, he's turning it on, turning it off, trying to literally spin it with his finger, uh, trying to get those last kills. I believe he gets one kill there, picks up, moves on to the next one, you know, stops it up again, fixes it, and bam, shoots that last body, goes up, grabs the flag, and, uh, and hangs it, you know. Big game there by Connor Walsh. And that's what you need to be doing as a back player. Um, you need to be... You need to know, know what's going on. He read it, and he, he did it, and, and, he, and that's he what you want right there. You know, a lot of people think that they're only back guys uh, or front guys or mid guys. In actuality, if you're going to be a paintball player or a good one at that, you need to be an all-around guy. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Because, uh, you know, that, that gets a perfect example right there. Connor Walsh, um, one of their back center guys, he is uh, he shoots off the break. He sits there. He's, he's waiting for Tony Costa. He's, he's ready for, uh, for, uh, for Robert Stofka to, to make, some, make something happen in the snake. And if yeah. they don't, it's up to him to do it. Absolutely. You, you know? know, it's not like back in the old days. Back in the old days, you're a front guy, like you said, mid guy or back guy. Nowadays, yeah. you have to be all around. Every guy. It, it, Every you know, guy. it's, it's the way guy. it is. You know, it's... Here we go. Counting down five seconds before this... Uh, or sorry. It looks like they called the timeout. I believe UConn called the timeout after that, which is smart. You know, you got these timeouts for a reason. Time management is an important thing. You see right there, you see Long Beach uh, walking off. They're going to get into the shade there for two minutes, which is also important. If... If UConn sits out in their sun, you know, that's going to drain a little bit of their energy. Yeah. You, see, you see Long Beach moving into the shade right there. Um, you know, they might even be talking to their coach over there, kind of getting a little two-minute uh, powwow, which is important, you know. I mean, right now you're their coach. You're the coach on the sideline. What do you think? Who's this? for that late fill off Canada, and you've been killing that Canada. I've got a minute until half, guys, so make the decision to either win it or, like, lock it off. Dude, Dude let them keep killing that Canada. If you get some of the Doritos, they're fucked. They can't. It's what happened. They're still sitting here. So one of these guys started shooting at him. I, he showed his ass to me from home. Hey, guys, like, we, need a, we need a point going in the half, all right? So we got one minute on the clock. we got to push this quick. No, we keep, they're fine. They're fine. Okay. Good. 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 Water? No, good. Thanks, good. James. Yeah. Keep chewing them up. You gotta and there you have it. It's yeah. Guys, yo, if you hear that's one, in the pit right there, you know? That's in the huddle. That's that's what people are talking about. They're talking about, hey, what can we do? They say, hey, listen, we're, we've got less than a minute. They're going to come exactly. quick. You watch them right now. I, bet, I guarantee. Watch here. Mark my word. You will see Tony Costa in that X. Yep. He was doing it this weekend. He has not been doing it now. He needs to figure out within himself how to do it, how to attack. Uh, watch for Ro uh, watch for uh, Robert Sofka to get into this snake uh, really quickly. You know, I mean, they, they like they said, they've got less than I mean, you know, about a minute to score a point yeah. going into this half, and this is a big momentum swing point. You know, they or, said it. They said they wanna build. All right, and also now we're gonna go down to Laura see what she's got to say. Uh, thanks, guys. Yeah, you guys are talking about Rob Stofka and the snake and actually just over there in the Yukon pit. The other guys on his team, and especially Tony Costa, are saying, man, you got to get it going in the snake. They're really relying on him. Staying positive, you know, they're, they know that they've still got a lot of time in this one and they can get it together. But um, it, definitely relying on, on Rob in the snake, and they're, they're saying that, you know, he really needs to get it going over there. Well, thank you, Laura. Uh, yeah, I think you're absolutely right, you know. Uh, I mean, you interviewed them yesterday, and, uh, and what did they say? They said that, you know, he's the workhorse. He's going to get in that snake, and he has yet to really do anything about it. And, and, you know, I don't understand this breakout, Rock. 
what did they just talk about? They said we got to get yeah, something they're, going. They're try, they're, they said they wanted to get a point. And look the what half. happened. They got three guys in the back center. I, three guys in the back center. This is, you know, what this is for Chris, uh, Chris Trigarthen here in the snake. That is, that is Christmas right there. Yeah. When you see three guys in the snake, you know, Robert Stoka, he is looking the opposite way. You know, what is he doing? They, and, and there you go. Chris just takes out that Dorito. That's, that, he just shot Connor Walsh over there on that Dorito. Uh, you know, Chris, look, another little shot in the, the, the other Dorito. Another, another player. There's 18 seconds left here. You're going to see either these next two bodies get just smoked really quickly. Oh, look at that. That was a blowout. Yeah. Only eight seconds. Corey's going to go. They're He's going to get that he's point. He's going to make it five, four, and another point going into the half. Well wow. done, Corey. And you know what? I give Corey some credit right there. That is because of his. That's experience. a smart man. That's right his there. experience yep. right there. He knows playing, the time. Understanding, you know, he. If you guys, if you guys were watching very closely, he actually took a look up to us yep. here in the tower, looked at the time clock, figured that he needed that uh, that quick point, made them move to the center, grabs a flag. Regardless of it or not, that guy was dead at the end. He was going to come over and, and and get that kill. And pe people have to realize, eight seconds on the field. Is not much time, no, no, you know, no. it, and it goes by that quick. No. He he was smart enough to look up here, read the clock, and make it happen. Yeah, we I mean we spoke about this. Uh, we spoke about this yesterday a little bit too. Rock time management, you know. Yeah, I can't stress the importance of time management. You got to know, you know, time management there too with Robert Sorfka. You know, like or sorry with uh, yeah Robert Sorfka. You know, hey, you're down bodies, buddy. You're down points. Uh, I like the fact you're trying to get to the snake, but you were uh, that was a, little a little too late. late. Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, and at that point, you yep. use time management in the opposite way. You sit there. You wait. Yep. You you make them come to you. Exactly. And next thing you know, they don't get that extra point. Yep. You know? I mean, uh, like you said. All right. We got Laura down with Ian Marshall from UConn. Let's see what they got to say. All right, Ian. So having a little struggle here in the first half, and, and your guy, Rob, who's the workhorse mm -hmm. on this team, not able to really get things done. What are you going to say to Rob? Uh, we just got to, I think the real problem that half is we had a real breakdown in communication. I mean, they're not here in the body count or where the other enemy players are on the field. So, I mean, once he knows, he'll be able to go in that snake and do work. Yeah. Have you heard anything from Tony about the communication out there? I know um, they were talking about it in here in the pit. They said that they can't hear anything. I mean, it's the far side of the field. We're getting excited. We're getting uncoordinated. We're just going to try and pull, to get, pull it together at the half, and uh, I think we can definitely still win this. All right, we'll see if you guys can calm things down. All right, thank you, sir. <laughs> see you. Yeah, they are getting a little antsy over here in the pit. Things are going crazy. I know you guys know that happens sometimes, but looks like they'll calm things down and maybe come back really strong in the next half. Let's go! All right, well, great. Laura's doing an uh, amazing job, Rocky, all weekend long. She has been down on the field. She has been interviewing players, and she's been uh, picking up paintball very quickly, you know. Uh, I, I believe she's probably going to start playing one day. She's so into it. She loves it. She wants, she wants to be the paintball, uh, you know. Give her a marker and throw her on the field. Yeah, right. I think uh, Chris might be doing something like that. I think oh, he's wait. been trying to uh, shoot her all weekend. <laughs> hey, guys, I am going to start playing paintball, so... Um and actually, I might end up being better than you. Who knows? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, it's an awesome game, and I can't wait to suit up and get out there and, and shoot some people. I don't know. I, I'm not too excited about getting shot, but definitely shooting people sounds like fun. <laughs> oh, you won't even feel it. It's, Trust it me. goes hand in hand. You know, it's kind of fun sometimes getting shot. It's not, it's not so much painful anymore. It's more the, the painful fact that you, uh, you're you not playing anymore. Exactly. You know, you're not actually in you're the game. You're not in the game. Yeah, it takes you out of, that, the, exactly. out of the game. You can't play anymore. The only times I've ever cheated is because I'm like, ah, I don't want to stop <laughs> I do not want to leave the field I'm right having now. too much fun. I'm having too much fun. Absolutely. For you viewers out there, you know, if, if you're just tuning in and you, uh, you don't know much about paintball, uh, paintball is a great sport. Um, I suggest, you know, you go out there and give it a shot. You know, maybe, maybe you're, you're, uh, you're someone's little brother or little sister right now or mom or dad and, uh, you know, your, your son or uh, daughter's watching this. You know, Laura's never seen it before till this weekend, and she's all about it. She's amped up to it. It's a uh, it's a whirlwind cycle that trapped me about 15 years ago. Absolutely, and, yeah. which all of us just got trapped by. Right. You know. All right, World Paintball NCPA here down in beautiful uh, Lakeland, Lake Florida. Florida. Let's, uh, let's see a commercial. Things to do with Empire Paintballs. You can paint a picture. You can paint a fence. You can paint your friend. But know that the paint will not remain, and Empire Paintball strives to reduce the impact of paintballs on the environment. 
Our RPS Advanced Formula Fill Materials are all listed on the GRAS, Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act list and will not negatively affect the drinking water, water table, or the field environment. Shoot the best and know that Empire Paintball works hard to protect our planet. And here we go. We are going on point eight. Cal State leads it five to two over UConn. Uh, UConn, you know, uh, UConn uh, coming into this event, uh, a very high seeded team. Um, you know, the very first game, I believe they got defeated by Penn State nine to four, which was kind of an upset. Yeah, that's, you know? a, that's a pretty big upset. I mean, and Penn both of these teams, excuse me, both of these teams were here last year in the finals. Yeah, yeah. So they they know what to expect, and and that defeat by Penn State probably probably hurt them a little bit, and you know, and they rebounded though. Yeah, you know, I, I'm a I'm a firm believer, and this year, you know, we've done pretty well, but we've also lost a couple a couple games in the beginning of the uh, of the day. Um, uh, or sorry, in the beginning of the weekend for us, you know, and I think as if you believe you're a good team, uh, losing those games in the prelims is not so bad because you can learn a lot from them. And then, you know, next thing you know, you see yourself in the finals. And here we are. You know, these guys are in the top four right now, and they're competing to play for first seed. So you're going to see UConn here breaking out on your screen. I'm sorry, you're going to see Cal State breaking out on your screen. Uh, two guys going that stake. Tree Garden kind of staying in that blind right there. Uh, for you guys at home, the blind shot is kind of a, a, a shot in the open. Uh, you're kind of risking your body to take a better shot and, you know, of course, jumping into your next spot. Uh, which he made it alive. Looks like UConn losing uh, one body off the break on the Dorito side. Uh, Chris Treegarthen coming across. Oh, sorry. Chris Treegarthen in that tall temple, uh, holding it down as he sends his front player. Uh, the front player getting all the way up there. You know, UConn is still taking that corner. I have no idea why they keep doing that. Yeah, it's, I don't know why either. It's really, it, it's just taking that, that player out of the game pretty much. You know, I've seen UConn now try to go to the snake and or try to get in the snake it's kind of like a last ditch effort it really makes no sense to me because it's just too late you got to go beforehand you know yeah. and then i see him you know getting mad at his coach and it's like guys your coach is your coach to tell you information it's up to you to get in there before exactly you know? i you don't you do not rely on uh, on your coach to tell you when to go you know no, you that, should not that's, that's all you I mean, it's all coach, you coach can only tell you so much you're on the field. You're the one doing it. Yeah. Make exactly. it happen. Exactly. I, and you know what? I never, ever want to, uh, uh, you know, rely on somebody else to, uh, to be telling me what to do. I just want a little bit of extra information. You know, Absolutely. I want to know how many are eliminated on their team, how many are dead yeah. on my team. Uh, I want to, you know, maybe know where they are, and that's it. Yeah. You know? Yep. Just the basic fundamentals. That's all you need. Plus, you know, it's, it's just an excuse when you, you know, you get shot and you look at your coach and say, hey, coach, you know, you got me shot. So, so here we are. Uh, you know, right now Cal State kind of looking a lot more dominant. Yep. You know, I mean, really, what are they doing that's so much better? What do you think? They're they're just taking it to UConn. I mean, Cal State is is taking the real estate. They're taking the snake. I mean, they're they're not holding back. UConn almost looks like. Like, they're waiting for Cal State to make a mistake, yeah. and no. it's not going to happen. I, I mean, think it looks like, to me, I, I agree with you 100%. I, first of all, you know, Robert Storfka is just getting uh, completely mad. I have not even seen UConn in the snake one time. No. I mean, they might have been in there for a second and then got bunkered out. But Cal State, without a doubt, has one to maybe two bodies in the snake every game, which is making the uh, world a difference. Yeah. And it, you're right. I think UConn is sitting there waiting for Cal State to make a mistake. It's, and yeah, they're not, not, and they're not, not that they're happen. making – maybe they're, you know, they're just getting through. And you can't play like that. No. Uh, UConn needs to play on their toes, not on their heels. They've been playing on their heels this whole time. They need to roll the dice. You know, and they even said it before going into the half, we need a quick point. And they didn't I, even do anything about it, no, you know? They, I mean, they made no attempt to get that. I mean, UConn is just going to slowly dwindle and slowly dwindle unless you make some aggressive moves. And uh, and that's, you see right there, you see, uh, you see uh, uh, Anthony Costa trying to make that move up the center, which he had been very successful uh, all weekend doing. Uh, that last point right there, I don't know who shot him, but he got shot quite a decent amount of times. 
You know, they're they're making those aggressive moves into the Dorito, but nothing over here in that snake. No. It, it, I really think that Robert Sofka thinks the snake is going to bite him if he gets in there. Yeah, they, they, they just leave that snake open. Now, they shot the Cal State out of the snake. Yeah, that so was actually a great shot by the back center player on UConn. But look at that. Look, they you refill see Chris it right Trigard off the bat. Right again. That's why right that's why it's 6 to 2 right there for Cal State. Yeah, you because know. they're just constantly constantly pushing the snake side. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and look, you're going to see something here. Chris, very smart player. You know, he's played at, at a high at a high level before. Oh, you know, he just lets the guy get to the corner though. He's played at a high level. He he knows how to play the snake, you know. He does not know this guy made it to the lousy corner of the, in the uh, behind the snake. And if that guy comes out wide, he could get eliminated. You but can, you can his mirror is there, corner. too. But look at this. You can see Chris Trigarth and come in and get some work done. Uh, you know what? There you go. Robert Sofka just getting Sofka big time over here on the snake. He's got his head down. He doesn't know what to do. You know, I, I, again, I watched him get interviewed yesterday. And quote, unquote. He said, I am the workhorse. I am the workhorse. I am going to be the one getting in the snake. And we have just not seen anything out of him. He better you know? get to work. He better get to work. He I better mean, clock in. Yeah. Because I, it's 7-2, Cal it's seven to two, seven seven to two. State. You know? This, this, it's it's got to happen like now. On Sunday, in the finals, these two great teams, you know, these two great collegiate teams, this should not be such a blowout. No. It should know? be a lot closer than it is. Because like we said earlier, both of these teams – we're here in the finals last year. Uh, we're going to go down and uh, see Laura and talk about the depth of Long Beach. As you guys mentioned, uh, both these teams know what they're doing. They've got the experience. They understand that it's important to keep their really good guys really energized as they go down the stretch. And obviously, Long Beach feeling pretty comfortable with their lead here. Uh, Corey Bernstein just came off and said, I need somebody to go in for me because he's feeling a little gassed out there. It's getting a little intense for him. So they're going to start sending some new faces in over here on the Long Beach side and uh, hopefully those guys will be able to do just as good of a job as the other guys because I mean right now pure domination they know it they want to keep it going well thank you Laura you are absolutely correct um, you need to get those fresh legs in there I mean we got a long day today especially if uh, if 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 Long Beach, you know, gets past this game and makes it in the next round, Corey Berenstein, being one of their uh, heavy hitters on that team, he needs to be 100%. You know, um, that, that goes to show you how comfortable Cal State is right now. They are putting in new legs. Yeah, they are. You, you know, they're comfortable with their lead. They're like, hey, let's put in some new legs. Let's save everybody. Yeah. And, and that goes to show you, I mean, they... They feel comfortable. And well, they you, look comfortable. They do look comfortable. And you know what, though? I truly believe that uh, with Long Beach's new legs. Um, well, here know. we go. UConn finally makes the snake. Holy moly. This is, is that, a long time coming. Is that coming. UConn in the snake? Oh, and look. Oh, oh Cal know. State gets a major. Oh, wow. This could all turn around this right now, Holly. Around. Well, you know what? Uh, Connecticut losing one on the Dorito side. Long Beach losing two. Uh, Chris Treegarthen still getting into the snake here. You know what? It changes things how, how when Chris Treegarthen gets into the snake. The game, the game was looking really good for UConn there until he got in there. Yep. Oh, so it looks like he got oh, in. Oh, he it on the, on the road. And honestly, I don't think he should. I mean, he shouldn't have made it in that snake. No. UConn, UConn just were, they were looking the wrong way. They didn't have the lane shut down. Yeah. And now you're going to see it's going to be two Long Beach players alive. Uh, against uh, against uh, UConn players. The difference is, though, is uh, is Long Beach has a guy in the penalty box, I believe. Do they have a guy in the penalty box? Yeah, they I should have they, a guy in the penalty box. Yeah, they box. should because they have a major. Right. Um, he could come out potentially, but you know, it doesn't look like uh, doesn't look like they're going to be able to do that in time. Oh, look at this. Come closing in. Oh, I like I like it when it gets like this. You do, huh? Well, you know, UConn, UConn's got a little frustration in them, um, and they win that point, you know. So it's 3-7. to seven. Still Cal State leads, but, I mean, like uh, they got a, the, Cal State does have a major, so it might kind of turn it around here for them. Right, they do have a major. Um, the difference right there is uh, UConn was in the snake. Yeah, you and, know? and that's what they should have been doing it <laughs> many, many points ago. It's, it's a pretty simple equation in paintball. It's... Be aggressive, risk versus reward. Get exactly. in there, okay? If you don't try getting in there, you're never going to know if you could have got in there. Exactly. You know, Sometimes so, you have to lose to win. 
So we're going to see a replay here on the snake. Uh, I believe UConn was in there first. Tris Chris Treegarth and slides in there. Actually does a really nice move to get in there. Um, gets in there, slips in there. Uh, next thing you know, they're, they're snap shooting, and he comes out and just gets clipped right there in his loader, uh, you know, right on the top. Those loaders, those, those die loaders are kind of difficult to hear sometimes when you get shots. It looks like he didn't know. Um, and next thing you know, you know, UConn advances into their side and uh, it makes a, you know, wins that point. Again, though, you know, <laughs> Chris getting in that snake, that's, th those make the odds for UConn. Although them being down bodies makes their odds really good. Had he have not lost that gunfight, uh, it could have turned it, it around. You know, yeah. Could have totally turned around. We have this. About six minutes, 16 seconds in this half. Cal State leads 7-3 to three over UConn. And once again, for you guys just tuning in, I'm Oliver Lang. We're here at the NCPA College Fox Sports uh, Championship in beautiful Lakeland, Florida. I'm here joined by Rocky Cagnoni, and uh, we're having a great time up here watching some, some quality paintball. Excellent weather, sun shining, it's not too humid. I'm actually starting to get a sunburn. I need to apply some aloe vera. I will apply oh, no. it for you. Aloe vera tomorrow. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I'm going to need you to come over, Rock, and uh, aloe vera me up. Uh, so here we go. You got UConn breaking out. Here we go. Roberts off. Get in that snake. There it is. Please get in there. You know, pushing, oh, getting all the way in there. The referee's going to check him. Makes it in clean. He makes it in clean. And what does he do? He eliminates one guy. One guy eliminated on the Dorito side for, uh, for UConn. UConn really they're, pushing that Dorito yeah, side now, you know? Now they're that. starting to look like they're playing. Yeah, now they're, they want it. They're getting up. and they, Yeah, exactly. They're starting to realize, hey, guys, uh, we might lose this game. Let's start playing paintball, you know? They shoot another Cal State. They shoot another Cal State. So it's going to be, uh, is that two Cal State guys alive? Because you got to remember, they started with the penalty. Correct. Now UConn is in the uh, 50 Dorito, in the snake. Uh, on that other side for uh, for uh, for UConn is, it uh, looks like... Uh, uh, Robbie Stellar over there. He's being playing very stellar, if you ask me. Coming in, cruising in quickly, getting uh, getting that point. Huge. Wow, point. that was a very big point. That was a Huge very, point. very, very quick point. And you know what? They're making they're they're tying the gap right now. And yep. this is the beautiful part about this format. Uh, now it's seven three without a doubt. Five minutes and eighteen seconds. So I believe that was exactly about a minute game. Um, you know, mathematically, if they score uh, a point in the next, uh, you know, one point each minute, they're going to win. Yep, you know, absolutely. they can do that. And this is what it's about right here. I mean, it, 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 there was a little gap, and now UConn is starting to figure it out and starting to play in their actual skin. Well, what was so to say again? What was the difference right there? What did they do? Snake, snake, snake. Okay, Robert Stofka, He must have been hearing what I was all the smack I was talking about him up here, and now he is running to the snake and he made it made it you know whether he shot anybody or not he got in there he, he, he turned some guns they were able to get all the way down the drew to size Robbie Stellar uh, playing Stellar over there for UConn uh, doing a great job getting all the way down that Dorito uh, making you know eliminating those last couple guys again Cal State starting with a penalty they got four bodies you know so they're a little bit down you know they need to they need to double up you know triple up guns on one guy make sure they kill a guy uh, to even up the bodies and then just kind of play, you know. I mean, that's what I. That's what happens when we get a penalty. Yeah, you got to We kill want to focus on eliminating one body and making it a four and four match again. Exactly. Exactly. We can go whenever. All right, we got Laura down in the Yukon pit. See what they got to say to turn it up. Guys, it's getting very intense in here. They keep chanting Yukon Huskies, Yukon Huskies. They're not giving up. Definitely getting excited, putting some more points on the board out there. And obviously, the increased snake presence over there by Rob is really helping things out. He came off and they said, hey, guy, just keep keep that up. Keep doing that because it's definitely helping. All right, great. Well, you know what? We are saying the same thing up here. Uh, a lot of this game is revolving around Robert Stofka. I mean, you know, I, I granted, a team is a team. Everybody's doing their job. But on, when, you're, when you're playing, you need your front guys to be up there 
in the in the mix, Absolutely. attacking, yep. getting it done. It relieves a lot of pressure off the back guys, yep. off the mid guys. It allows you to shoot your gun more, control, exactly. communicate. And, um, and, you know, that's all the difference. Whether or not he is making the kills up there from, or, you know, up there in his position, He's there. he is there, and that's what's important, you yeah. know? And, and, you know, you, you, you break games open every day. You I, need to be in there. You need to make it happen. Yep. And that's what it's about. It's a threatening, and I, I, I call it being a thorn, you know, or... It's it's when you get a thorn or a splinter in your thumb, and it's just annoying. And it's annoying. Uh, that's you, what it's that's just, who you it's are. there all the time. Uh, exactly. And, and you know it's there, and you can't do nothing about it. And you're just like, well, until I get the tweezers, <laughs> I can't do nothing about and, uh, it. And that in that analogy, the tweezers are your are your teammates. <laughs> Absolutely. You know. <laughs> There you go. You see some of the guys in the stands having a good time. You know, it feels it, it's pretty cool out here. It's got that college feel. I feel like there's people playing beer pong uh, all over the place here, yeah. hanging out. You know, there's uh, there's it's it's really cool feeling down here. You know, I, I like. I'm glad to be a part of this. Uh, Chris Rose throwing a, a heck of a tournament. Um, you know, I, I'm blown away by the, just the order of it all. Everything's been running smoothly. Uh, the field layout looks beautiful. The field looks beautiful. The refereeing, the refereeing's being substantial. You know, and that's always an issue. You yeah, know, absolutely. Uh, I'm all about the, the continuity of being able to see a good field, um, and you know, having the, the referees be a, a major part of a, of a smooth running tournament. That's huge. I mean, honestly, we don't have that in the professional league sometimes. No. You know, and it's it's annoying. You are correct on that. It's and, annoying. You know, and Die and Empire, they stepped up. They sponsored it. And, it, and it's an awesome thing. Yeah, exactly. You know? and we need support from sponsors. Here we go. Robert Stofka again, getting into that snake. Looks like he made it. Uh, looks like uh, Cal State losing a player on uh, on the snake side. Corey Bernstein uh, making a big bump on the Dorito side. Big bite out of that side. Yeah, they, again, just, they just took it really hard on that Dorito wow, side. Wow, yeah, what happened over there? Looks like two bodies from UConn uh, walking off the Dorito side. Robert Stofka making the snake, getting eliminated. Uh, also, at the same time, Long Beach trying to take the snake, getting eliminated. Now you got Chris Tregarthen coming in. You know, without a doubt, he's gonna he's gonna play smart. He's gonna kill a little bit of time. He's gonna you know uh, just edge these guys out one kill at a time. You know, no rush here at all. Here it comes right in the back. Oh, in the head, in fact. You know, Chris is playing out of his skin. Chris is always. I had the the privilege to play with him on Brimstone Smoke, and he was a great player back then. And yeah. he's just. He's just an awesome player. He just he's a very he's very uh, you know athletic. He's yes. got he's got he's got a lot of years of paintball under his belt. Yeah, he's, you know, he's, he's been playing he's for very quite educated. some time. Yep. Um, so here we go. We're gonna get a quick quick replay of the last uh, last shot right here. You're gonna see uh, uh, Anthony uh, Anthony Costa. You know, kind of feeling the pressure. He might have got shot from that side. Switches, and here comes Chris Treegarden just to deliver those last painful blows to his head as he's patting his head, rubbing his chest off, thinking, man. Why that have to happen on TV? Uh, you know what? <laughs> it's not a good feeling sometimes. It's not a good feeling. Uh, but, you know, that is the sport. Uh, that is the, the beauty of, of, of being a competitor, uh, competing here at this level. You yeah. know, I mean, this is, again, we spoke about it a little earlier. This is a, a great uh, level of competition here. It's, this is college universities playing against college universities, world-renowned colleges. Uh, yeah. You know, I mean, nationally. Yeah, major conferences. Uh, you know, I mean, these are these are these are. This is the best of the best right here for college paintball. It totally is, and I, I mean, you could tell just the way they're playing. A couple years ago, maybe not so much, but these guys right. have, have really stepped up their game, and these guys could play with the best on any level. Yeah, a lot of these guys could, you know. It, it's kind of an interesting factor of how it works in college paintball. You got to think, you know, you got. Freshmen, you got sophomores, you got seniors, uh, and it's like they're just moving through. It's like a progressive thing. It's like one guy handing the torch down uh, from from the next to the next to the next, yeah. and uh, it, it's a pretty cool little thing, you know. I mean, and hopefully some of these guys, you know, the alumni of the colleges can come back and help support them, and you know, give them uh, give them some help, give them some pointers. Maybe some of these guys go off to play for pro teams. You never know. Uh, right there, you're watching the breakout of UConn, uh, doubling up the back center, doubling up that Dorito. Not probably the best idea, if you ask me. Uh, taking the one guy on the snake there. It looks like he might have got bounced. The referee went in there to check him. Uh, UConn not going anywhere. Uh, this is back to UConn's uh, style that they were playing at the beginning of the day. 
and really wasn't giving them any points. No, they, I mean, they, they kind of held up. I don't, it, the, the snake move was working so good the last couple points. I don't know I, I why this did. You know, I don't know they, either. They're down, they're down four points. They're down four points. There's four under minutes. Four, yeah, under yeah. four minutes left. You they gotta, think they would push it. They have to, it. we call that, uh, we call that uh, get on your horse and uh, and start uh, start playing, you know. Look at this. Corey Bernstein's going to make mincemeat of these guys because they are just trapped right now. He has uh, made a big bump across the field to that tall temple on the Greedo side. Um, you know, he eliminated one player. We got uh, we got Adam here in the snake. He's just kind of uh, playing really smart. You know, look, this is a perfect time for Long Beach to kind of hunker down. Yeah, this little axe. Yes. I mean, they're this all four is, points. This There's is where you relax with it. But... You can see inside of them all making moves though because they are kind of blood hungry. You know they want to, they want to, they want to win. They want to get more points, and uh, you know it is. It's also important to get some more points for them going into the next game. Exactly. And to show them, the, the next yeah. team, hey, look, even though we're up four we're points, ready, you know? we're going to be coming no matter what. Yeah. They're not playing. I'm not going to drop any names, but there's certain pro teams out there that used to just hunker down yes. and they're up. Yeah. Boring. Boring. These guys. Are living it. Yeah, they they're are. they're playing it. Well, you know they're 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 on the wave. They're riding the wave. They're feeling good. You know, right now it would be uh, kind of a a grace of God for UConn to come back. Really, five points here in three minutes. That'd be very difficult to do. They'd have to really try really hard and and make something out of it. You know, uh, I mean, not saying it couldn't happen because it could happen. Long Beach would have to mess up a little bit. Um, but uh, but I've seen it happen before. I've seen what much stranger things happen. So you know we'll see. But you know I'm watching UConn kind of come out right now, and uh, they've kind of got their heads sunk into the ground like this yeah, game they, is over. They don't really have the step. They, they don't have that flair. They're not yelling Huskies. Uh, you got to keep it going, especially if you're a team leader. If you're if you're Tony Costa, you got to keep pumping them up, keep patting them on the back, keep clapping your hands. Keep getting those chants going. Uh, this is, you know, this is important stuff. Yeah, you know? You, you know what? And they're a much better team than the score reflects right now. Yeah, no, without a doubt. Uh, I don't. I, you they're know, just not making. They're just not making the the plan right now. I don't think they have. Uh, they have really established their their standard game plan. No. Uh, you know the games that they were winning before they were in the snake and they were handling business. You know, I saw I saw Anthony Costa or Antonio Costa getting all the way up into that X a lot. I saw we saw one time this match him attempting to try and just getting blown to bits, you know. But uh, he hasn't tried again. And really they're not coming down the Dorito side. It's like look, have a nice equal uh, spread across the board, come down the Doritos, come down the snake. You're watching right here, you're watching uh, Yukon break out. Three guns in the back center, big moves on both sides. Big moves on the drill side, getting eliminated. Big moves on the snake side, getting in there, you know, getting in there. And you that's know, he, that's Robert Stavka. We've been waiting for him all match to do something. You know, please, for, for video continuity, Robert, save, save yourself. Get in here, get some points. Go down. Get to work right now. Nobody is stopping you from going to the next one. He could right. just mosey on down. Right there, that there. was a great shot uh, out of the back center. You saw uh, Antonio Acosta shooting right there. He said it's a great shot. Um, kind of just hunkering down that snake zone. You know, all he's doing right there is pumping. Oh, Cal State gets another major. Oh, wow, wow. This could change some things. Honestly, though, there's it's, really not enough time not, to yeah. come back for five points. There's, uh, there's, it's three on, uh, three on three, it looks like. Uh, right now, on that Dorito side, we got Robbie Stellar over there, uh, going to work. He's, uh, he's in that, he's in that Dorito. Really still, you know, the time management's a big issue. Yeah. Take a, take a look at the clock up here, Robert. Take a look at the clock. You know, let it, just got, know, two minutes. know that you, you don't you, got time. You, you don't have got time to go now. This. Yes, now is, now is referee see it. He's kind of making a big move. And look at this. Uh, nice little trade out elimination there. Run. Uh, Grab, Antonio flag, Costa. Go. Every second counts right about now. Yeah, it does. I mean, it does. Especially uh, if they were coming out of that penalty right there. It looks like Corey Bernstein was assessed that major penalty. Um, now we'll see that's how, not how this help. plays in. You know, it's it's five to nine. <laughs> five to nine, a minute 41, though, Rock. Yeah, you know that, I mean? there's not much time, but. We'll see how this major plays out. We did get a very interesting uh, fact the other day from uh, my friend Noy Pedak. Um, you know what the, the quickest X-Ball match point was? I would like to say around the mid-teens. That's what I thought. I, I thought it was 14 seconds. 
Yeah, that's yeah. what I, that would be my guess. And uh, but I believe he looked it up and he said ten seconds. Now wow. I don't know who that was or where that was, but uh, that I mean that is uh, that is probably one of the, that is it's an unbelievably fact. Yeah. fast. But so I mean if you if you calculate it here, we've got uh, what four points in uh, a minute uh, forty one seconds. If you could score four points in a little under. You know, thirty seconds. You could, you could, uh, uh, you could tie this game up. It's possible. It's, Will it happen? Well, they do. They are on a major penalty right now. You know, you might get, you might get one or two points out of this, but four is uh, that's that's a yeah. lot. You and, know, and and I know Cal State is gonna just totally play the back line and and D it the whole time. They're smart. They, here they, we go. They know they got the lead. We got a replay uh, right out of the back center here. You're watching Connor Walsh. Shooting off the break as well as Tony Costa, uh, they they doubled up two guns into the back center. You're seeing a little pop up over the top of that thing, kind of looking around. You know he really needs to be shooting his gun. He's, he takes the move right there. Tony Costa just holding that Shut lane. That lane down. Yeah, that's a you know that's what a, a role player does. Um, we go down with Laura, check in with Long Beach, see how they're doing. Hey guys, down here by the Long Beach pit, and what you were saying over there about how they just need to take this easy right now and you know kind of hold on to this lead, not let UConn really get a chance to get back in it. Not that they may really have a chance at this point. Um, Long Beach is pretty aware of that they're going to go heavy on the Dorito side this time, as you can see. Maybe take it a little less aggressive on the snake. And here we go, UConn just makes that snake. Now they're pushing. I think their center guy just take gets oh takes one in the loader. But they're pushing hard. They're trying to get these points. A minute 20 left in this half. Cal State still leads 9-5. to five. Yeah, this was kind of a bloodbath game here. I like this. Um, I like this a lot, actually. Uh, <laughs> you see the referee checking him. All Chris over Garthen him. making a big move in that snake. He's going to come and bunker him right here. Oh, oh that was, and he bunkers the ref at the same time. <laughs> unbelievable. He is just playing unbelievable. Yeah, he is. You know, he he saw the move a while ago, and he was uh, and he was thinking, should I go? Uh, you know, I know I should be smart, just kill some time. Uh, but then, uh, when he, he realized that that he had the opportunity to go, and uh, you know, there's nothing to lose at this point, and he made the bump in there, and uh, you know, he got a nice kill out of it. You know, you see right here that Cal says that they're just they're just hanging on. They know, you know, they're they're up. Yeah, Under know. 30 seconds left. It's, it's their game. Yeah, look at this. Corey Bercy coming out of the box. Make it happen. Right for the kill. Boom. Look at that. Boom. That was Boom. fun. That was fun. He came right out of the penalty box with a vengeance. Runs that last guy down in the Dorito. Uh, Corey Nagel coming, doing a great job in that snake. You can hear them doing their chant down there. Excellent, excellent game by Cal State. Yeah. Feeling good. They're going to advance into the finals there, uh, making it, uh, you know, I don't know what's going on here. It looks like, looks like uh, they want to play this last 15 seconds or something like that. I don't think that's uh, reasonable. Um, but anyways, Cal State Long Beach playing a heck of a game, Rock. Excellent Doing a game. great job. Um, you know, UConn just coming out uh, a little flat. Yeah, they came out flat. I mean, if they would have pushed it like, like they were doing the last couple points, just taking that snake, they just, it just... They didn't seem like they had it. Yeah, it looks like uh, it looks like UConn is going out to play this last point. I don't really understand the reason for that, or you know, or Long Beach at that matter. Uh, but it looks like you know, there's a, a little bit of a grudge, uh, grudge match. UConn wants to come out and, and get shot a little bit more. I don't know. It's it's kind of dumb in my book, but uh, whatever. They're doing it. Uh, there's 15 seconds left on this clock. It is nine. To five, uh, ten to five, ten, ten to five. five. Um, this might be a really good point, yeah, though. This fifteen yeah. seconds, it might get a, like a little train wreck action. Uh, you guys are gonna want to zoom into one team because uh, it's just gonna shoot and uh, kind of pan out off the break. It's gonna be pretty interesting. Um, uh, you know, I'd say Long Beach because they're gonna come out a little bit. Actually, yeah, Long Beach, they're gonna come out swinging. Yeah, so so right now, guys, uh, at home, you guys are watching. There's 15 seconds left on this clock. This is going to be a little bit of a blood match. Actually, no, do uh, do UConn because they're going to run hard. Uh, you're going to see uh, you're going to see uh, 15 seconds of pure payball bloodbath right here. Uh, there's not much you can do. UConn's going to come really hard. Be very interesting. 
Yeah, the ECU cut right there trying really a lot. Look, they're all uh, going. Penalties all over Just the place. All over. You guys, flags flying everywhere. <laughs> Just oh, people, oh my god. This is insanity. Okay, okay. What is going oh, on? Oh my god. Oh. I told you the last 15 seconds were going to be great. Wow, you know, that was uh, kind of uncalled for. <laughs> really no no need, no need. Um, but, you know, they did it. Uh, kind of, here, here we go. We go down to a replay. There's a lot of mayhem right here. Uh, people run. You, if you see the, the referee in the background just throwing flags right there. Flags just just throwing flags right there. Um, uh, what you weird. Robert Shelfka trying to get in that snake for a last ditch effort. Still could not beat his back guy into that snake, though. <laughs> that was awesome. That was so good. Uh, and, uh, you know, Long Beach coming out on top there. You see them right here coming out. Get into the huddle. Let's see what they got to say. No raising the voice. Hey, we are silent. Yeah, you know, that's uh, that's a great question. They're feeling good. They uh, you know, they came <laughs> that was a big, 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 big game right there, and to beat them by that you know, beat them by that much. Yeah. On Sunday, the teams that are gonna be up Sunday should should hunker down. There, it should be a much closer game. It should be uh, you know, I mean, these are the best, the best of the weekend. You know, for college, uh, for college paintball. You know, so absolutely. And li like we said, I, it would have been a lot closer if UConn would have got their game plan together. They were just, it didn't, it didn't look like they knew what they wanted to go with. They yeah. were, they were hit and miss uh, all over. They really were. They, they, they went back and forth, and uh, and you know, they ended up, uh, they ended up not being on top. Yeah, I mean, they're still, they're a class act team, and. By far, they, they they play way better than the score shows. You know, so but next year they'll be back, I, and the, and they will be back in the finals. All right, and we're gonna have uh, we're gonna go down to Laura, and uh, she's gonna talk to Corey Bernstein of uh, Long Beach 49ers. Okay, uh, pretty candid win over a powerhouse like UConn. You guys keep saying keep it classy, keep your sportsmanship up. Sportsmanship up. Mm -hmm. Just talk about what that's like for you guys and trying to stay calm. You know, going into more play today. Well, I mean, paintball is a huge sportsmanlike sport. You know, we try not to be the team out there counter coaching. You know, we want to win fairly. We don't want to cheat. We just want to go out there and show them what we do. We're one of the only teams from West Coast. We're just trying to represent ourselves as best as we can. We try to let the scoreboard do the talking. Not try not to talk a lot of trash. You know, we don't really like to do that. That's not how we like to carry ourselves. You know. Okay, you mentioned you're one of the only West Coast teams out here. Maybe some of these East Coast guys and the North guys don't really like you guys that much. That's and how much more motivation does that give you? That's what, kind of what we're sensing. We're getting a lot of counter coaching on our side, especially down the Doritos. But, I mean, that only pushes me to play harder, you know, especially with someone yelling in my ear, talking trash. You know, I'm just going to try to go get him. Okay, the domination on the snake side for you guys obviously helps you on the Dorito side. Just tell me what that's like to know that you can really rely on guys like Tree Gartha and Nagel, the guys over here on the snake. Yeah, our boys are holding it down on the snake. I mean, both sides of the field are really key, especially the snake. It's allowing that once they get down the snake, it's allowing us to go to the Doritos and vice versa. We go down the Doritos, they come down the snake. You can't win it just from one side. We try to balance it out and use each other's teamwork to win the game, and that's what we've been doing. All right, congratulations, Corey. Thank you very much. And, yeah, you guys, that balance attack, it's really working for them. All right, great. That was an amazing That was an amazing game here. Uh, I'm Oliver Lang. I'm joined by Rocky Cagnoni. Uh, there will be more paintball to come here. Stay tuned at the NCPA College Fox Sports Net. Awesome. Hi, I'm Todd Martinez, and I'm here to tell you about the future. The sport of paintball is moving in a new direction, and I can bring you to the doorstep of tomorrow. Paintball's always relied on 68 caliber paintballs. Not really exciting. Introducing 250 cal, the future of paintball. 68 cal is too small, and it's easy to miss your target. With our new 250 cal, you are always guaranteed to hit something. You'll save a fortune on all those thousands of paintballs you used to buy. 250 cal. Empire's number one goal has always been to grow paintball. Our top secret miracle enhancement formula enables us to farm thousands of acres of 250 cal. 250 cal. New 250 cal guns are currently being developed, but adapters for your current markers are already available. Turn your boring gun into a machine of destruction. 
get over eight shots from your 4500 tank. 250 cal. As you can see with this chart, the sport was taking a step backward with the development of 50 cal. But with 250 cal, get ready for 250 times more fun. Would you choose a smart car over a monster truck? Small gun, big gun, small boobs, big boobs? Bigger is better. 250 cal. Things to do with Empire Paintballs. You can paint a picture. You can paint a fence. You can paint your friend. But know that the paint will not remain, and Empire Paintball strives to reduce the impact of paintballs on the environment. Our RPS Advanced Form materials are all listed on the GRAS, Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act list, and will not negatively affect drinking water, water table, or the field environment. Shoot the best and know that Empire Paintball works hard to protect our planet. Hi, I'm Todd Martinez and I'm here to tell you about the future. The sport of paintball is moving in a new direction and I can bring you to the doorstep of tomorrow. Paintballs always relied on 68 caliber paintballs. Not really exciting. Introducing 250 cal, the future of paintball. 68 cal is too small and it's easy to miss your target. With our new 250 cal, you are always guaranteed to hit something. You'll save a fortune on all those thousands of paintballs you used to buy. 250 cal. Empire's number one goal has always been to grow paintball. Our top secret miracle enhancement formula enables us to farm thousands of acres of 250 cal. 250 cal. New 250 cal guns are currently being developed, but adapters for your current markers are already available. Turn your boring gun into a machine of destruction. Get over eight shots from your 4500 tank. 250 cal. As you can see with this chart, the sport was taking a step backward with the development of 50 cal. But with 250 cal, get ready for 250 times more fun. Would you choose a smart car over a monster truck? Small gun, big gun, small boobs, big boobs? Bigger is better. 250 cal. 